Welcome back everyone. You may be in a position where you want to go ahead and block unwanted messages, text messages, whatever, on really any Android phone. Now the process to do this is pretty much the same whether you have a stock Android phone, a Samsung, or whatever. So the first thing you want to do is you want to load up into your messaging application. So most people will probably use Google Messages. So what you want to do here is you want to open up this specific application up and then here you want to go ahead and find the little option up here that shows the three dots. So we're going to go and click on the three dots here and we'll probably see a little settings option. You may also see a spam and block section as well. So we can go and click on the spam and block section and you'll start to see all the spams and blocked messages that will, you know, you'll probably have. But what we want to do is we want to click on settings right here and we will come into this panel. Now here is where it can go ahead and break down and give us, you know, a little bit of a breakdown of basically the spam protection within the specific application. So down here we can see spam protection. We can go ahead and click here. And we can go ahead and enable spam protection. So what this is going to do is it's going to limit essentially all the, you know, it's going to help detect spam messages, send some data about your messages to Google without including your phone number, whatever, right? So it's going to go ahead and automatically disable spam. And if you're getting a lot of spam texts, well, it's going to go ahead and disable it for you. So you want to make sure that's on. Another thing you can do that I typically go ahead and enable is within my phone calls application. So I'll go inside my phone calls application here. I'll click on the three dots again up here. I'll click on settings. And there's a little caller ID and spam option up there. Now you can also go ahead and block calls and other things down here too. But what I typically do is I click on caller ID and spam. And here you can go ahead and filter spam calls and do verified calls as well. So this is another really cool option that you have. And this is something that I typically will go ahead and enable the filter spam calls. That way it'll just automatically disable, you know, random phone numbers, different things like that. And it will go ahead and disable no caller IDs and different things like that too. So that's another thing you can do. You can always go ahead and block numbers like I mentioned, but those are the first things I do if I want to block unwanted texts on my Android phones. If you have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out until then.